This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we'll bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my interesting co anchors with me. If I were with the half hair, and if you're Lua Shinkaye. I promise to do that to, on Twitter. Fam. Had to and I had to. Me. You know, I do what I say, I see <laughs> what I do. <laughs> Your face makes it like, what is it half? The hair is not done, don't worry. <laughs> you won't understand, but she's she's still I'm Melania still Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> One, oh, let's see. No, I'm trying to get. <laughs> Can I stand up to look? Yeah, the typical <laughs> man right now. <laughs> okay, let's. Um, okay, so I saw something interesting. I'm, I, I, I don't know if you guys saw it too. Um, the. What I ordered versus what I got. Mm. Niniola's version <laughs> of the Beyonce. <laughs> Did you see it? I think it's happened to the best of us. Mm. Mm. But I have a different opinion, though. I saw two of the pictures. Like, mm. there are two, actually. And mm -hmm. after seeing this, when I saw the first one, I was like, ah, now, wow, what kind of material is um, Taylor? Or what would I call the person he is now? Mm. And then when I saw the second one, I felt like even if they <laughs> give Niniola the exact one, that yeah. Beyonce war. It won't look like that. It's not bang. Mm. Still. Mm. You just have to shade nah. it. No, it's not shade. It's the uh, hat. That was like. Nino La has a banging body. Uh, uh, that's mm. that's the fact. Like, our body is so. Did you see the one with the hat? I don't know if we have mm. that one. Our body is so on point that I feel like she would have killed it. Our body is so on point. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. She would have killed well, mm. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the hat one. Uh -huh. yeah. So this was the one that made me feel like even if Beyonce just remove the clothes finally and give to her, it will still not work. I mean, let's not lie that they have some serious corsets going on. <laughs> <laughs> even with Beyonce, I'm sure, you know, they're suffocating her, her ribs. But um, the tailor did not try. It's not even remotely close to it. Are you sure it's not remotely close to it? No. Color has a lot to do with it. What kind of bastardic green is that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just let's just move on before I'll be accused of shading people. <clears throat> Shatawale hints of a future collaboration with Samini, Sakodi and Stoneboy on his new album. According to the artist, the title of the album would be Gift of God. Um this would be interesting, I guess, seeing the three C on an album. 3S. And now for plus Samini. Mm. Is he part of, are they, have they added him officially? Um, is he, Samini is one of the biggest But is he a thing? Him. We know of the 3S. But biggest no, no, he's not. Is a thing. In Ghana, yeah. he's one of the biggest artists in Ghana. So, mm -hmm. and he's a veteran to, so to speak. And um, I would love to nice. see a collaboration mm. with, um, um Sarkodie. Sha yeah, Shatawali and Sarkodie. Mm. Like, they've like had, to. they've had a very turbulent relationship. Yeah. And I would like to see how they can translate that into. And Nigeria jam. started their beef. Nigeria, really? How? No. From the things I saw, I mean, they've had, according to them, one was supposed to not go to an event or they mm, agreed yeah. together. No, the no, other that, one was, that was that was after. Later. Mm. The first one was um, Shatawale accused Sakode of ditching his own video shoot mm -hmm. for a Nigerian video shoot. Mm, so how is it Nigerians accosted? I said Nigeria eh, for a Nigerian video shoot. Uh, it's Sakode's decision, not Nigerians. Please, <laughs> we have enough things that they blame us for. Don't blame <laughs> us for this one, I beg. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to this Same. album. Same. I'm, yeah. I'm looking forward to the um, Nigerian acts as well, obviously. I want to see what Whiskey would do because I've been waiting for Whiskey to give me something to hold on to. So I'm hoping Don't hold your breath, that though. he will give his, you know, put some life into the song and everything. Like do what Bonaboy did with Jerusalem. You know. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm. Big shout out. I'm looking forward to this album. I'm not so excited about it, but of course, I'd like to see what um, a Samini, a Sakodie, and a Stoneboy Stone would do on a record with Shatawali. It would have been nice mm. if all three. I don't think it's going to be on a record. Song. I think he's going to feature on yeah, the album. Yeah, on different so songs. See. Yeah, I know. Like, well, it would I would be nice like if we see the three S on an album, on a song. Oh, oh, yeah. On a that's song, what I was that would say. be amazing. Yeah. So I hope that's something that they're planning to do after this album drops, because uh, that would be really good. You know, it's like it's, go, it's going to be like seeing a Whiskey and a David Doe on one song. Would that never happen? I believe so. Hmm. I believe okay, so. fingers crossed. We've seen them on one stage anyway, so, mm -hmm. so giving us a song shouldn't be that And David posted, um, that is, um, 
about this picture that some boy did <laughs> recently. Did you see it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that some boy, I can't remember his name now, but the, the boy is an artistic boy. He does Photoshop and stuff like that. And he put Whiskey and David O together. So everyone thought it was a feature to mm. start with until mm -hmm. we realized that he gave the boy one, one million, million for that yeah. picture. So, mm -hmm. David O, please. Yeah. I, a million ah, I will be so nice I right mean, now. Just, yeah. Okay. Right <laughs> this is yes. a behind the scene talk. Uh, I, I almost, understand. Almost, please, though, people that got money from David O did not do behind the scene. In my dear, you have to be no, public I, about it. No, as in, I, I wish I got my one million like two days ago. Oh, yeah, <laughs> when you saw him. <laughs> right. Okay, behind the scenes, just action. <laughs> Moving on, um, Lagbaja has weighed in on the ongoing rape conversation, and he says if you did it in the past, it will haunt your future. He also kind of expressed um, surprise that people still have the idea of raping anybody in 2020. Mm. Um, it's I think it's said well that it, it comes out to bite you and it's not just rape, it's anything. A lot of the times you feel like you've gotten away with something. Um, even when you think like actually you face that personally. I've seen that a lot of the times where you would do something in the dark and then after a while you reconcile it with yourself. Like you actually do everything that you need to do as a person to move on from that. But then the public scrutiny still comes afterwards. Um, and I think that's just how life is that, you know, things just find a way to come back into the open. Nothing is really hidden under the sun. Um, I, I like that he's speaking out in this tone and in this manner, but it is a little, a bit, I don't know how to say it, to say that people still do it in 2020. I think people are going to do it in 2050. Mm. I don't think you can ever remove rape from um, the world. The world. I, I don't think it's possible. I think you can re reduce if it. If castration becomes a punishment, maybe. Mm. Yes, mm. I think what you see is a massive reduction of rape, but I think people will still rape, especially the ones. Ah, there's castration Don't in other worry, in, in a this. lot of uh, places already. We value this. So Trust let's maybe me. channel our because so. <laughs> <laughs> because I know that people, not everyone who rapes would, would um, get would get caught, you know. So I don't think. Crashation is necessarily going to stop. Well, it should be a good step. Actually. It will be a very good step. But then, very. for those who would now maybe probably falsely accuse and castrate them, that would be like. Mm. That's <laughs> another angle, though. <laughs> Firstly, you know, the deeper level. <laughs> I think for you to castrate, it must be very, very, very clear, like evidence wise. It's hard oh, to man. find You've evidence. I've seen someone spend 10, 15, 20 years mm -hmm. in jail and finally they realize Especially that. Especially in this part of the world. Um, I was lying, he wasn't the one, blah, 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 blah. Stories. So if that is castration. That happens in Nigeria. I take again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That happens in Nigeria where, where men... I'm not in Nigeria, okay. of course. Because mm -hmm. I was going to say, that's not our problem. I don't even think we've been able mm -hmm. to legally chastise a rapist more so than a false accuser. I don't, I don't want to bring Justin Bieber into the conversation yet, but are you seeing what's going on in regards to that? That they've accused him as well of mm -hmm. rape. And did he rape? Some girl. Um, but he's denying it, and Selena Gomez is supposed to be his witness. So the whole world is waiting for Selena Gomez to speak. To speak yeah. Because obviously their relationship no, if, is not... If he didn't do it, um, I, I want to believe that she would have the heart to actually come of out course, and speak. Of course, yeah. Because it's a huge one. Of course. And yeah. I don't think she would um, lie about that. So it would mm -hmm. be very nice to see where that story goes. Um, but it's it's crazy. It's People are going mental on Twitter in regards to that. Because he then... Pay, um, What's the word? He worked with Twitter to be able to get all his receipts. Like he's putting all his receipts out. His time, it's his timestamps on where he is and where, where he has been on that day and everything. So mm -hmm. he's even saying that he was not even in the site at all. So um, good luck to both of them. We'll see how that goes. Tea time continues right after this short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I deceive them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now. Oh, <laughs> and plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling alright. Minimal, are you? Mm. Mm. Music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from 
Malawi like. Woo! <laughs> Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Bloggers are saying that Messi Aigbe's estranged husband, Larry Gentry, shaded her after she wished herself a happy Father's Day. And I think there is a link. So Messi posted yesterday on Father's Day wishing herself happy Father's Day. And basically she said, and I quote, happy Father's Day to me, to all the responsible fathers out there and all single parents who play the dual role. May we eat the fruits of our labor in Jesus' name. Then her husband puts up a post saying, Happy Father's Day and Happy Sunday to my good people all over the world. Any woman in the world that says Happy Father's Day to herself should be prepared to um, be paying for the children's school fees. Again, Happy Father's Day to me. Mm -hmm. End of quotes. Mm -hmm. True that. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. That was yesterday, it was yesterday, but yeah, but happy, yeah, Father's, happy Day Father's Day. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Away from Messi Aigbe and um, the husband, I, that's an interesting shade, actually. I kind of mm -hmm. like that. But <laughs> um, I was, I don't know how I felt yesterday. It was a bit disappointing because um, I think that was just one day out of 365 days to appreciate fathers. And the conversation largely, I mean, I was more on Twitter was basically about oh who is worth the celebration yeah. who isn't worth it are they supposed yeah. to be happy father's day let's wish women happy father's day as well uh, because they're single women and all and i think i think it's just um selfish it's selfish and i think women need to also watch it when um they are trying to show that they are strong and can do what men can do as well because being a woman alone is is powerful and until you begin to understand that, you would always want to put up the robe of a man. Even if you're a single mother, what you are is a mother. I, you are in a situation where you have to play the role of a father and a mother regardless, but you are still a mother. I understand trying to get yourself that accolade because you deserve it, but I mean, yeah, the things I read yesterday was just, nah, it wasn't, it wasn't sitting well and I just stayed away from that. I saw, I saw that too and I was like, why... Uh Okay, why are some women <laughs> so <laughs> selfish? Because um, we see Mother's Day like sometimes I get lost. Sometimes I don't even call my mom on Mother's Day because mm. yes, I'm so like, me. just two months ago <laughs> I called you. I'm calling you again to wish you happy Mother's Day. But Father's Day is always once. Before you continue, please, if you have to call, and even if you wake up tomorrow and you see Happy Mother's Day on your phone, call her. It doesn't matter if it's no, no, no. Times. Of course, of course, so, of course. I, I value and I treasure those moments. Trust me, I'm mm -hmm. not complaining. All I'm saying is that out of 365 days, women have at least three or four, four days in a year for um, have a whole month Happy fun. Mother's Day. In fact, you have your <laughs> lifetime for That's Happy much. for Happy Mother's Day, right? Mm -hmm. But you get one, and then we're going, we're bantering back and forth. Who, um, if we should value this, if no, I don't think that's right. And secondly, like you rightly said, whatever you, you think you're doing as a single mother, what makes you a woman is that you are a mother. And the role of a mother is even more important than any father in this world because the love a mother has for a child cannot be quantified. A father can scold you and still show you, I mean, he loves you, but he will still show you that bad, uh, but you know, a mother is the, you're about saying, oh, well, that bad for war, the moment a mother speaks to you, she's almost in love with you all over again. But a father can go like two, three days and still, just so that he can show you that he's a disciplinarian, right? But a mother will always be a mother. So I don't know why you want to tussle with men over that because it's even more important. You find out that a lot of kids love their mothers more than, way more than their father. I think, I think for um, this... <laughs> Um, I saw the conversation and I, I yeah, it was a bit icky <clears throat> the way it was said, but we have to address the fact that they, we, the black community worldwide, and Af Nigeria is not exempt to that, is a fatherless nation. Um, <clears throat> stats will show you that there's a lot of women who are raising their children on their own. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of cases right now of the court saying that you are supposed to um, do child custody and a lot of those men don't do it. There's a high level of reports of people who don't do their jobs as fathers. When Maybe you have, if you're talking about the black community, 
But let's bring it home to Nigeria. Nigeria. I'm talking about Nigeria. Those statistics are for Nigeria. Those for statistics, Nigeria? Yes. It's a, oh, the statistics on. I'm no, talking no. about. I don't know. Uh, I've had too many good men. I'm talking about statistics. Life, no. I'm not okay, talking ahead, about finish. opinions now. Mm -hmm. These are statistics, research that statistics. That there's a lot to do by who and what organization. But, uh, and people who are trying <clears> to <throat> um, protect what they call children. If you're talking people, about okay. America, maybe I would probably. There is. We don't even have good um, legal systems for separation. Men are not held accountable to pay child support to people. There is many, many women that are with children that uh, their husbands are not helping in any way. It's not a, my opinion, I've seen them, I know them, I don't know them. It's proper stats. So that's why this conversation is happening, because there's a lot of unfairness when it comes to parenting between ma mother and father. You have to admit that, 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 that that's a problem there. There's a lot more women that are... On uh, that are treated unjustly in terms of parenting, so we have a lot of fathers that are not you know, doing you know, that's that are not doing their job. Well, so because that of that, 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 that conversation, no. because of that, that conversation is happening in regards to who is a good father, who's not a good father. Am I supposed to be a father? I'm not supposed to be a father. I think it's be very insensitive. I don't think anyone here on this table is a single parent, but I think it's be very insensitive for a single for you to say to a single parent that she's not allowed to celebrate on Father's Day when she's doing Father's Day. Um, roles. Should, it, should, should that then take away from the fact that we still need to celebrate our fathers? I don't think so. I think there's a lot of space for everybody to fly. If, if I'm taking it from your angle, then I think that conversation should be going way down to the roots to say why do we, why, how, how did we build a society where more is expected from women than mm. men? I think that is where, because women even when they think that they want to up and go, there is this responsibility already around your neck that because you are the woman, because you are the mother, you have to cover that child like a hen covers uh, um, the, the, the chicks. Do you, you understand? So it is already there and you see a lot of men d deciding to say, oh, if, if, I, if I don't do it, nobody's going to hold me accountable. Mm -hmm. And even the society and women themselves will also encourage that he's a man now, let him go. Mm -hmm. But you are the woman, you have to sit down with that child, which is one of the conversations that gender equality is also mm -hmm. bringing to the table to say, you know what? you have the same level of responsibility as this woman has to take care of the child, which is why I don't agree when you said, oh, a woman, has, a woman alone has the capacity to do, even what the proverb you said in the beginning, um, to be able to scold a child and enjoy a child. But I think every parent, be you a man or a woman, should be mm. able to no, do no, that. I'm no, I get you. I get yeah. what you're saying and where you're coming from. So I'm just trying to address what she's saying now. But however, yesterday... Um, the conversation wasn't as deep-rooted as you are taking it to, which is, yes, if you're coming with statistics, you're coming with facts to say there are lots of men that are not doing enough, yes, we understand. It might be possible. Maybe my own horizon is not covering all that for me, but there are also too many men that have done a lot, and because of the gender inequality as well, we have put a lot of responsibility on men, and they've shouldered it over the years without complaining for the responsible ones, because they have had to do a lot, feed the family, do everything, feed the family pay the bills. That's feed the family's financial. Do you think financial is a joke? But mm -hmm. women are doing financial and also raising the children. And I think it's so, quite hypocritical. Let's bring it back home, yeah? Don't mm -hmm. let us start going. <laughs> to, hypocritical for um, Messi Aidbe, right? Oh, yeah, we actually forgot about Messi Aidbe. <laughs> <laughs> because, um, honestly, if the man is paying the bills, if he's doing all that, it's not cool for you to now say Happy Father's Day to you. So I like the angle he took it from, and I hope he keeps to it. Mm. Mm. That conversation, that, that particular situation, I think if the man is even there financially, he says a lot more. He can say a lot more than a lot of people who are even together mm. there's know, there's yeah. deadbeat fathers if you can't you can't deny that conversation for me oh father's day celebrate the good ones mothers, like sure, actually celebrate fathers, the good really. ones i've even noticed now that the friends that i have that i have like like um a lot of them are not actually doing much for father's day in comparison to how they do go out all out for mothers and i think that's wrong we should really celebrate the fathers mm. but that's me oh i will celebrate the women who are doing mother's job and father's job as well okay me, that's how wrap up this episode what about fathers that are also time. doing mother's of job. course Thank them too for watching and do join the conversation by sending okay. your opinions via whatsapp to zero nine zero six thousand five seven one nine. Or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also, watch your time on R2 TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my very interesting co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Oshunke. Yeah, that's me. And the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa Stay Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.